bunch of fucking Brazilians watching a fucking bunch of Brazilians speaking another language. This is really awesome. All right. Welcome, folks. Welcome here to Renaissance. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. You that put Google Renaissance correctly and find this place. Yeah, I would like just before we start here, I would like to know some stuff about you, okay? Luz na plateia, he doesn't speak English at all, right? <laughs> Whoa, right? I would like to know something like, uh, who is Brazilian here? Please, raise your Whoa, right? Who is not Brazilian? Some people, Ipa, he said Ipa. <laughs> what about you, my friend? Where do you come from? England. Oh, nice, mate. It's very good. That's lovely. Welcome, really. It's from London? But Rem Ham. Okay. <laughs> Lots of series ending in Ham in England, right? I was missing Ham. That's all I understand. Who else is not the Ipa guy? Where are you from, Ipa? Barcelona. Barcelona. Barcelona, Barcelona, Catalans, Baisos, Catalans, Silence, Case, Wills, Wings, Dortmund. Who else? Where are you from, sir? Oh, where? Oh, Scotland. I, I don't know anything about Scots. The Scottish accent is really. If I speak like Scottish here, no one will understand anything. It's like. Maybe it's like Jamaican, you know? You're not going to speak Jamaican tonight. That's what I understand. Any, anyone else is not from Brazil? Where are you from? New York. New York City. Oh, New York City, boy. I like you. Welcome, really. <laughs> yeah, um, who doesn't speak English here? <laughs> All right. Anyone? Okay, that's natural. Yeah, yeah, that's nonsense, all right? Fuck off. Okay. Um, I would like to know here, for, for instance, uh, who is here for the first time in this theater? Yeah, a lot of people. Who has never seen a stand-up comedy presentation before? The lady there, and in English the first time. Whoa, man, this is pretty weird. Oh, never, never, never seen before. Oh, that's pretty disappointing, man. <laughs> You know, seeing a lot of Brazilians speaking English like it is. <laughs> this is really fucking up. People, good night. How are you doing? Good? Okay, find your seats. All right, nice to have you here. And, well, this is a stand-up comedy presentation. We are going to have lots of comedians here tonight. It's in English, all right? It's really weird, isn't it? I'm feeling really weird, but okay. Let me tell you some stuff. Um, I learned English watching movies, you know, so it's like a, a movie English. I, lo I love the word fucking, you know, fucking. It's just, it's just fucking good to say fucking because fucking is, fucking is innocent to us. I'm sorry, Scottish man. I'm really sorry. It doesn't have the same meaning, you know. Fucking for me is just fucking is everything. Fucking, fucking everything. Fucking is just like jeans. It goes with everything. Fucking jeans, the fucking chair, the fucking yellow, the fucking microphone, the fucking Scottish guy. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy there? What the fuck are you doing there? Oh, nice fucking shirt. Yeah, I like you fucking very much. This is good. You know, I love fucking. And, uh, I'm talking about the word fucking. And if you don't like the word fucking, remember that. We all, we are here because of fucking. Right? <laughs> Understand that? Okay. And it's really good to, you know, to make stand-up comedy in English because English is the perfect language for stand-up comedy. You know, like action movies, it's got to be in English. You know, it cannot be translated to Portuguese or to, you know, Brazilian situations like, hey man, you meet me nine o'clock in Jabaquara Avenue. <laughs> Yes, I'll be in front of Habibs. Yes. Don't worry, don't worry. You recognize me. I'll be wearing a Gaviões da Fiel shirt. Yeah. yeah. There's no translation to that. You know, this is kind of impossible. Here there's a bunch of crazy, crazy for you, Corinthus. Whiskey or coconut water, for me, whatever. No translation. 
professional, man. There's no way. So it's perfect, you know, to stand-up comedy, to, you know, action movies. English is perfect for that. But, you know, like, I think that Spanish is the perfect language for vacations. Señor, ¿cómo estás? Vamos a relajar. ¿Quieres una piña colada? Sí. Escocia. Que bueno, no sé nada de Escocia. And I think that, for example, um, Italian is the perfect language, you know, to date a woman. That, ecco, ma che bella, la fanculo. <laughs> ecco, ma che bella donna, ma che culo. <laughs> and I think that Japanese is a good language to, you know, to be, you know, if you, are, if you have shame on yourself, you gotta speak Japanese like, What is the to What is the And how do you get you a What is the if you like gay kitchen, you gotta speak French. <laughs> Everything that French people do in kitchen is extremely gay, like the uh, ratatouille. <laughs> Un petit quoi? Un petit gâteau? <laughs> this is a fucking cake with an ice cream, motherfucker! Un <laughs> petit gâteau. And Portuguese is the perfect language to fool a tourist, you know? Hoje? <laughs> Taxi Bandera 3. <laughs> there are some words that, you know, just annoy me a little bit. Like, I frequently, you know, like shit. So I'm like, oh shit! What happened? No, no, I'm just cold. I'm in the shit. <laughs> like, for instance, um, hey bitch! Talking to me? No, no, just to the sand, the beach there, the sea. <laughs> Or for instance, there's another word like, um, I fucking forgot it. Oh, fuck. It's just like, I love the other. Oh, I make some, a lot of confusion. For example, like, napkin and kidnapping, you know? It's, it's extremely different, but I mean, a kidnapping and a napping, I never know what is that. Oh, I want a kidnapping. No, I'm sorry. I, mean, I, I was napkins. No, that's, yeah, it's fucking similar, but it's not at the same time. You know, it's really weird to be here speaking English with you, and it's a pleasure. We were going to have a lot of comedians tonight. And, well, instead of comedy, we say a lot of things about a lot of subjects, different <coughs> subjects. And, well, for example, I just came from Rio de Janeiro, my town, where people speak English like this, you know? <laughs> we have no concerns about the accents. <laughs> Fuck it, the accents. Thank you for the applause. It's so relaxing. I don't need to do articulate the words. It is just, man, it's, I'm really, you know, this is really natural. This is go out of me like a poo. This is wow. We Cariocas, we just speak like that, like Alexandre Frota, like those. <laughs> That's why people from Piracicaba and in Arasatuba, they can speak English better because in Arasatuba and Piracicaba you know, is near or far from... Do you know Santana language? Oh yeah! I like you! You should come up here! Yeah, lady! Do you know Santana language? Yeah, that's perfect. Speaking of that, speaking about Joao Santana, you know, I was in the airport right now, coming here, and they speak Joao Santana English in the airport, you know? <laughs> when they translate that speech, they make this Joao Santana thing. The first thing that, you know, amazes me in the airport is the stupid questions on the check-in, like, Sir, are you carrying any drugs? <laughs> Who's the motherfucker that's going to admit that he's got a drug on him, you know? Sir, are you carrying any drug today? Oh, yes. I have a joint here in my underwear. You know, this is really weird. And when you get in the, in the, in the, on the plane, you know, there are the flight attendants. And the male flight attendants, they are all gay. Did you realize that? <laughs> but it's of course, because, you know, in their profession, they just push in, you know, a tray like this. <laughs> Do you want some juice, sir? Of course. There's orange juice and guajaba juice. <laughs> okay, like the job. What's the night? Is it juice, sir? Have a nice night. All right. And then you just check if you've got your seatbelt, you know? 
they're just checking like this if you got your seat. Belt. They're not checking your seat belt, they're checking your tape again. <laughs> <laughs> and then there comes the speech, you know? And they, when they translate the speech in the airplane, it's just, it's, it's a disaster. It goes like, Places and senses, man, welcome to Gold Ranch, and I'm going to put it on my head to some other crackers, and I said, Please, if that's when I sit your belt, she's going to send that luggage on the French table in front of you. When I just find you that you're going to go to Brazil, and I'm going to just forbid them to smoke and drink and to leave the laboratories.